In this video, I'm going to take a look at the change of base property, which is used with logarithms. Basically, our change of base property says that if I've got the log of m base b, I can choose any other base that I want and rewrite this as the log of m base a over the log of b base a. All right, and a can be any new base that I want it to be. Um, and usually, most commonly, we're going to change it to like a base 10 so that we can just do, you know, log of m over log of b. All right, now, this also works for natural logs as well. If I had the log of m base b, I could change this into the natural log of m over the natural log of b. All right, and either way, either one you choose to do uh, because you're just doing um, like bases here and you're doing like bases here, so it's the exact same thing, okay? So, um, let's uh, say we need to evaluate some of these logs and let's say you don't know how to change to a different base. Your calculator, most scientific calculators, are set so that the log button is uh, for a base 10, while these are obviously bases that are something other than 10. So if I was going to evaluate this and I wanted to use my calculator and I didn't know how to change the base, or maybe the calculator wasn't capable of changing the base, I could use this change of base property here. All right, 20 would be my M and the two would be my B. So I could rewrite this as the log of 20 over the log of 2. And notice there then I'm changing the base to 10. All right, and then I could use my calculator, punch that in, and get the decimal equivalent, which would be about 4.322. Okay, so it's a pretty simple concept. Just take the log of 18 over the log of 6. And again, I would, <clears throat> you could choose any base you wanted, but the whole point is to get away from that base 2, to get away from that base 6, so that you can easily put it in your calculator. So this would be the log of 18 over the log of 6. All right, choosing that common base of 10 so that I could plug it into the calculator and then I'd get a 1.613. On that one, you can get your calculator out and hit pause on the video and verify that if you need to. All right, maybe on this last one, let's uh, show it with natural logs, okay? So you could do the exact same thing if you wanted to use the natural log button on your calculator. Natural log of 14 over natural log of six. All right, plug that in your calculator and hopefully you're gonna get a 1.673. <clears throat> okay, so just three real quick um, logs where you're evaluating logs using that chains of base formula. Comes in very, very handy, um, especially if you've got that calculator where you don't know how to or it won't let you change the base to something other than a base 10. Definitely thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.